Scott Disick has broken his silence about his relationship with Sophia Richie. What did he have to say? And celebrities showed up for the March for Our Lives protest and it was incredible. We got a surprise appearance from a very special guest. I was living for that moment. And Justin Bieber was involved in a car crash. Police were called. I mean, it seems like he's spiraling out of control. We're talking about all of this on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Hi everyone, welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Devin Howard. I'm Kate Drosher. So let's talk about that Scott and Sophia relationship. So obviously them two as a couple has garnered a lot of negative attention, mostly because of their huge age difference. 15 years to be exact, <laughs> just a minor gap there. <laughs> just very little. He's got children, she is a child. I mean, it's all very weird. <laughs> Lionel Richie said that their relationship was just a phase and he was kind of dismissive about it in the past. Now we've learned he's pleading with Scott to end the relationship. That's crazy. If I your know. dad was pleading with your boyfriend to not see you anymore, that's, that's a clear sign you guys should not be together. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, so yeah, definitely not a good sign. There, there were rumors that the two actually broke up or that they were on the verge of, of a split for a little bit of, of time now. I mean, yeah. it's always kind of... Who knows, really? Yeah. They're, they're up and down. They're unfollowing each other. <laughs> they're re-following each other. They're, they're going out. around the world together. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. I Guys, tell us. I don't know what's us. going on either. Let, if you have any idea, let us know in the comments. But the Daily Mail actually asked Scott about all of the negative attention that he receives for dating Sophia, and he said, quote, I guess it's kind of flattering that people care. It's not like I'm mad about it. Everybody's worried about something. Everybody is worried about other people's things, so it's fine. Which, I... He's not wrong. He, yeah, I mean, <laughs> none of us really like have a right to know what's going on, but at the same time, if he wanted to assure everybody that, you know, he and Sophia were all, mm -hmm. you know, good in the hood, wouldn't he have yeah. said we're fine? He did not do that. No. And we know Scott likes attention. Exactly. So this makes sense. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, of course he likes the attention. Mm -hmm. He likes being talked about. He likes being in the media. Oh, Scott. Yeah. Oh, Lord Disick. Oh, what is wrong with Lord. you? <laughs> So I feel like it's bizarre that he didn't say that his fans needed to not worry or whatever. Yeah. So he just says that he likes the attention and it gives him an ego boost. So there's that. You know, whatever whatever you want to do, Scott, if you like the attention, we'll keep talking yeah. about you. No worries. It is our job. So don't worry. We got you. <laughs> All right. So now let's move on to our next topic. The March for Our Lives protest happened across the nation this weekend and they were a really beautiful display of unity and solidarity and they also got a lot of celebrity mm -hmm. support. Oh yeah, we had Selena Gomez, Camila Cabello, we had Charlie Puth, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, just hordes of celebrities coming out for this. Exactly, and, and I feel like it was, it, it ended up being not only a protest for change, but also an incredible opportunity to see these artists perform live, mm. because there were performances by Charlie Puth, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, and that very special guest we told you about, Ariana Grande. She's back, you guys. She's back. <laughs> Rejoice. I'm so happy. You guys know she was kind of silent for about mm -hmm. three months there. Wasn't posting on social media. Wasn't making any public yeah. appearances. And now she just came out and performed, put on an incredible performance of mm -hmm. her song, Be All Right. And so I feel like this, this is off topic, but I feel <laughs> like her performance at the March for Our Lives protest uh, definitely squashed those pregnancy rumors. But she was wearing a very baggy sweater, so I she don't was. know. She could still be hiding something. I don't know. I just feel like Ariana's just in the studio working on an album. I don't know that she's really like hiding a pregnancy. I don't know. I, I cannot even picture her and Mac Miller having a baby together. That just seems, <laughs> let's not do that. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Anyway, the March for Our Lives protests were absolutely incredible and if you guys have been able to see any of the footage, I'm sure you can see it was just really yeah. uplifting and amazing. Hopeful, mm -hmm. hopeful display. Of yeah, and really awesome that the celebrities are like using their fame to get more attention for something so important. So yes. Love to see that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was great. But now maybe in some not so great news, we've got good old Justin <laughs> Bieber. So Justin and Selena are on a break and Justin has been seen out and about doing a bunch of different things um, that are pretty questionable. Yes. Like flaunting a new blonde model named Baskin Champion. I'm sure you all know all about her. We, we've told you everything. I'm yes. sure you've stalked her just as much as we have. Yes, everyone has. So Selena's trying to move on, but Justin actually says that he still loves her. Of course. Even though he's dating a new girl. A classic guy. I know. Ev 
literally, I don't know what guys are thinking, but somehow they think that this is going to work out for them. And Justin, come on. Like, she's sick of the same old love. Let's get over this. Exactly. <laughs> she is sick of the same old love. But a source told Hollywood Life that, quote, Justin really digs Baskin and he loves hanging with her. Does he still love Selena? Yes, deeply. But he's respecting her wishes and keeping his distance. So, in the meantime, as far as he's concerned, he's free to hang with whomever he wants. And that happens to be a hot blonde right now. I just don't think that's going to work when he wants to win Selena back. But yeah. Don't take relationship advice from me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but really, like, if, he, if he's really hoping to get back together with Selena, dating some blonde model is not going That's to a work. Terrible idea. No, it's not going to help your case at all, Justin. But now Justin was also involved in a car crash. So this, when I heard this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. Yeah. Justin's downhill. DUI, what's happening? Like, exactly. Oh man, Justin, get it under control. But it wasn't his fault. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't hurt, which is amazing. But his fancy Mercedes G-Wagon oh. definitely was hurt. A fan actually saw kind of the whole thing, the aftermath. Let's check out this video here of, the, of Justin dealing with the car crash. Okay, so we can actually see that Justin is being pretty yeah, calm. He's handling it pretty pretty nicely. I'm yeah. impressed with him right now. Like, the one and only time. <laughs> I know, right? I, a lot of people, a lot of celebrities, I feel like, would be like, oh my God, what would you do? Yeah. Like, really angry, but he was being really calm. and. I mean, I think he knows he can afford a new Mercedes, so yeah. he's probably not as stressed as the rest of us would be. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, I'd be like crying, yeah. like, ah, help me. But maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe Justin isn't as immature as I thought he was. He's handling the car crash like an actual decent human being would, but I don't know he's also trying to make Selena jealous yeah, his, his breakup not so much yeah but it's a start I guess <laughs> yeah we'll we'll see where everything goes I want to know what you all think about all of this what do you think about Justin Bieber getting in that car crash were you shocked when you heard about that news also tell me what your thoughts are on the March for Our Lives uh, protests were you happy to see that Ariana Grande finally made another public appearance and finally, let me know all your thoughts on the Scott and Sophia relationship. What do you think about what Scott had to say about dating <laughs> Sophia and the attention that it gets? Pretty bizarre to me. Yes, definitely. So click subscribe, comment your thoughts down below, and we'll see you tomorrow on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Bye, guys.